These are great movies! When you got movies like Tom Cruise in them, you can't lose. Six bags of popcorn, two sodas. It's On Cinema at the Cinema with me, your host, Tim Heidecker. Hi everybody, welcome to On Cinema at the Cinema. My name is Tim Heidecker, I'm the host of this show and it is a movie site, it's a movie review show. Uh, and uh, my, uh, my guest is Greg Turkington. Hey guys, I'm here to provide expertise. Okay. Um, before we get in uh, to our reviews today, I just want to mention uh, we are currently selling the On Cinema mug, uh, and it's a really great mug, which uh, I've been enjoying. It's got on the back here. It came from a saying that my guest, uh, Greg Turkington, said, thank God for coffee. And I said, ah, it's like TGIF. And so I say TGFC. Or thank goodness for coffee. The more coffee you drink, the more movies you can watch. Uh, I'm not so much of a coffee guy, but you are a coffee addict. And uh, but I, you can put anything into this. This is my used mug, so it has some. Uh, actually, it was my wife's, and now I've got everything in boxes. So I just found this the other day. And um, soup is good in it. Mm -hmm. And hot tea. Um, oh. All right. All right. Well. We have a lot more, actually, in stock, so don't worry about that. Plenty more. Uh, our movies today, one is called Turbo, which is a 3D animated movie, um, and it's actually opening today. It's uh, directed by David Soren, starring actor Reynold Renal uh, Ryan Reynolds, one of my favorite actors, Burt Reynolds' son, uh, Paul Giam Giamatti, and... Uh, stupid. Giamatti. Giamatti. Paul Giamatti. Giamatti. Paul Giamatti. The great Paul Italian, Giamatti. Italian guy. Oscar winner. Michael Pina and Bill Hader. So this is another great animated movie about a freak accident that might just help an everyday garden snail achieve his biggest dream, to win the Indy 500. I love this movie. It had everything for me. It had great adventure, comedy. Obviously, some of the voices were familiar to my ear. And uh, it, I love car racing, and I love, I wish it was NASCAR is my only dis disagreement with it, but Indy 500 is the best as well. So I don't have too many problems with it. I give it five bags of popcorn and five bags of soda. Five cups of soda. Yeah, I love the movie too. It's sort of a unique take on the race theme. Usually if you have uh, slow and steady wins the race, it would be a turtle. In this case, it's a snail. So I thought that was kind of interesting, interesting choice. And the voice work is excellent as you mentioned. So I would give it uh, five bags of popcorn and a little shaker of salt, because that's how you kill snails in your garden, is you salt them. Mm. Well, we they... wouldn't want to kill the hero of the movie. No, um, but I mean, if you have snails in your garden. Um, I just thought it was so interesting how I knew, was watching the movie and I never knew what was going on, which I liked that sort yeah. of era of mystery. And they didn't treat me like a child. They didn't make me feel, uh, it made me feel like a child watching it. Uh, in other words, I didn't know I was confused. I was confused too because when I first got the email about this one and it, um, the letter was cut off so it said Turbo 3 and I was like, I've never heard of Turbo mm -hmm. 1 or 2. And then when I actually opened the email, there was a D well, after the 3, it was in 3D. Yeah, that's not necessary. That's, keep that junk to yourself. I'm so tired. I can't sleep on the left, I usually sleep on the left side of my head. And because of where the scar is, I can't sleep that way. So I'm not getting any sleep. Well, if you hadn't broken the coffee glass, I'd get you a cup of coffee. Wake you up. J Red 2, directed by Bruce Willis, and starring, I'm sorry, directed by Dean Prashnot, and uh, starring Bruce Willis. Listen to this list. This is an impressive list. I mean, this has got to be like the best cast there ever was. Bruce Willis, Anthony Hopkins, John Malkovich, Malch Malkovich, uh, Helen, Her Helen, Herman, Mel uh, Helen Merman, Catherine Zeta Jones, uh, Mary Ma Tyler, or very Mary uh, Louise Parker. Um, wow, I mean, I don't. They could have just put these people in a room uh, and sat them around a table and had them talk about uh, the weather for two hours, and it would have been a, probably a great movie. Uh, Not as good as it is when they're in this uh, action sort of scenario with these assassins. I think that's what really makes the movie in this case is the I agree. plot. I told you I agree that this is a better movie than the, even the first Red, which was my one of my favorite movies from a few years ago, Red with Bruce Willis. And um, 
This is almost like it's a Frank Moses and his motley crew of retired assassins returned for a second outing, is the, descript is the plot. And uh, basically, this is uh, an action adventure with a lot of humor, a lot of heart, and, uh, and a lot of familiar faces. And it's my, probably my favorite movie of the and year. And a lot of violence, I got to say. Uh, if you're not a violence fan, stay away from this one. Mm -hmm. But I still give it five bags of popcorn and two sodas. Uh, I'm not a fan of real violence, but I am a fan of movie violence when it serves the plot. And it did in this movie. This is about assassins. These are not... Uh, these are not nice people. Mm -hmm. You don't want to. These are not babysitters. They're talking about. These are assassins. <laughs> so uh, there's going to be some blood spilled, and there is. And so I'm going to give it five bags of popcorn and five uh, packages of band aids for all the blood that is spilled in this great movie. All right. Well, it gets two thumbs up from or two uh, or it's, I'm sorry, two five bags of popcorn for me and five bags from you, not thumbs up. Sorry. No. Forget that. Nothing to do with this. No. We have our own system. All right. All right. Well, finally, we got a new segment we're debuting today. Let us know what you think of these segments, by the way. Love hearing the feedback. Go to oncinemapodcast.com. Or people love on, the segments. I'm not finished with the plugs for the where do pe people attack uh, uh, people to contact us. On they Cinema already Podca know because I'm getting lots of emails and uh, Twitter. On Cinema Podcast. Uh, on Twitter and the OnCinemaPodcast.com and the Facebook uh, uh, also. In, uh, and a website. Website, OnCinemaPodcast.com. This is a new segment called On Popcorn from Greg Turkington. Hello and welcome to On Cinema On Popcorn, a special new segment where we look at popular popcorn brands and examine their flavors and see which are the best for you, the viewer. My guest today is none other than On Cinema host and creator, Mr. Tim Heidecker. Tim, thanks for coming and being a part of my show. Tim, I'm going to ask you to try some of the top popcorns on the market today and give me your opinion. This is the type of thing that you would eat if you were at home watching a real movie. You'd pop some up. Now, anyone who watches On Cinema knows we rate the films using a five-bag system. We thought we'd turn the tables and give the popcorn uh, a five uh, videotape system. Okay. These, the, my threes these are the three from? that we're going to choose from. Oh, hold on. We need you to clear your palate first by having a bite of barbecue potato chip and a sip of water to clear your palate so that you can start from scratch and then try our first popcorn, which today is Orville Redenbacher, the Cadillac of popcorn. Okay, now just take a handful and take a bite and see what you think. I got still, I got a lot of barbecue in my mouth now. Clear the palate. Okay, Orville right. Redenbacher. Orville Redenbacher right here. See what you think. One of the all-time original popcorns. Yeah, it's good. It tastes like movie theater popcorn, kind of a buttery and salty and popcorn. So, right. so on a scale of zero videotapes being the worst and five videotapes being the best, what would you rate Orville Redenbacher? Um, I guess I'd do four, bag, four uh, videotapes. Okay. Cleanse the palate and we'll move on to our next flavor, which is actually Pop Secret. Okay, Pop Secret? Yeah, Pop Secret is one of the original uh, microwave popcorns. They may have invented it, in fact, uh, for all I know. Um, what do you think? This one has, uh, like they cooked it too long. It's like a little overcooked, black, burnt. Like a burnt taste. Come on in. We're shooting a popcorn uh, video. It's okay, do you wanna? So, uh, a little burnt, huh? Yeah. I'm fine. I may, a piece I may have burnt, burnt it a little bit. I may have burnt it. So. I'll find a piece that's not burnt. I don't want to disparage Pop Secret because I think. No, it's good. It's uh, it's like this one. It's tastes like popcorn. Sorry, I burned it, but four bag, four, uh, I guess four tapes. Four VHS tapes. Okay. Any differences you noticed? Mm -mm. Okay. And our last brand is a store brand. I'm not going to give the name of the store. This is just their inexpensive store brand. Anyone can buy it. Anyone can try it. You don't have to microwave it. It comes already ready to eat in the bag, which is why I like it, because I don't have a microwave anymore, unfortunately. What do you think? I don't, it's not as buttery and salty as the other two. OK. Um, it is lightly salted. It's a lightly it's salted. It's a little dry. Uh huh. So um, three movie t videotapes. So you like that one the least of the three? Yeah, one, two, three. That would be my favorite of the three. 
Um, I guess partially for the convenience, partially for the price. But uh, of course, nothing beats real movie popcorn. So if you're at the cinema, be sure and support your local popcorn stand. Okay. Thank you, Tim, for being a guest on the show, and uh, we'll see you later. All right, that's our show. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the segment. Uh, I want to see this again. Mm -hmm. That's why it's called Red 2. Yeah. See it twice. <laughs>